Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today we have a really small episode, but it is a required episode on bug fix again, unfortunately. Um, you guys have been bringing up some bugs that happened in the game, and uh, some of them are game-breaking, so I had to address them today. So we do something with the save file again, we do something with the time, and we also do something, something with the uh, research bit array. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's start looking at those two bugs first. The first one being, when you're playing the game right here, and uh, you're just launching it, everything seems to be working fine. Now, if I do something a little bit special, so if I go over here, and I delete my tower folder inside of the registry, that's my save basically, so let's just assume I delete my local save. Then I go back here, and I'm pressing right here, I can't actually do anything. Because the save loaded is never called, and the reason that is, is because if I show you the code really quickly, you will understand. And that has been pointed out by a guy on uh, Facebook, he found on Facebook, and I'm really glad that he did, because that's definitely game-breaking. And the way he was testing this is by using his phone, he downloaded his app, played a game, and then uninstall the actual game. And when he tried uh, booting it again after reinstalling it, then it didn't work. So... Here's what's going on. We do a load from string, um, either local or cloud, doesn't really matter. We always do a load from string either way to know um, which one is the more recent. And this is what happens. So we initialize all the level and then we do a return because we can't really do any parsing of the data and that's totally normal. We don't have that data so we don't really want to parse it. But what happens down here, we also do some more... Um, some more calls. We do a rescale tower that is never being run. We do a call clip camera offset that is never be uh, that is never ran, and we also do a update research bit array that is never ran as well. But the most important part is to save loaded is equal to true. We never really do that either. So we could be taking all of these lines and just copy it over here uh, with that. But what I'd like to do instead is actually use our code that we've made in the past and um, do a simple load from string. We just rerun the same exact function, but now we send a working parameter. We're going to do a get empty save string just like this. So basically, if we don't find any save game locally, we just create one. We just assume it's a new one with the empty save string. And that is how we fix this issue. Now the other problem I have um, has to do with the research. For some reason, if we just go in the game and we go, say, in a level 1, then we speed this up a bit, and I'm simply going to start a rewarded ad at the same time. So, as you can tell right here, as soon as we get at least one loot. Okay, so a log has a normal price. That's definitely just normal price. That's 75. It doesn't have the 10% uh, increase from the research. But what actually happens here is if we wait 5 minutes without even buying that research, and uh, that is why I started another countdown, so whenever this hits 1455, I will resume the video and show you that it does not work. And if I go back here, as you can tell, the research is not completed, however, the cost of a log, as you can tell, is not 75 anymore, and here the silk is actually uh, 110, which means our research is kind of completed, but it's not at the same time. It assumes it is unlocked, but it is really not unlocked yet. So to, do, to um, actually fix this, it's a really stupid error that I've made. Um, we have to go inside the research manager. And down here we do the update research bit array. Now we check, is it on zero? If it is on zero, that means we never started the research. And we're going to set it to false. But then after, <laughs> um, I check if it's actually... Uh, um, unlocked by checking the time using the research time and the total time but you know it's actually just a if statement that's not a else if now this call is pretty much just being overrided by this one so what we're gonna do is add a else statement here just like that and uh, if you guys prefer I can actually put the curly braces so let me just do that really quickly so you don't get lost and uh, oops I really don't like Mono Develop anymore. I think I'm gonna switch really soon. Okay, so it looks like like this. 
If it's on zero, we do this, and if it's not on zero, we just go ahead and do the other um, mechanic we had here. And that's pretty much all we needed to fix this problem as well. Oh, and finally, there's one more thing that I'd like to fix, and um, it's pretty much just a bug that involves time again. Um, if you see right here in my console at the very, be uh, at the very bottom here, what I've did is, inside of my tower script, inside of the update, I'm pretty much just displaying the total playtime. So this is always updated with the total playtime. Right now we've been in this current save game for um, 2,870 seconds. Now if I go inside of the game, say over here, and I just speed it up, it, it works like it's used to, um, or like it's supposed to, so the time now goes three times faster and it is being reflected down there as well. The only problem that we have with this is, say we go back to the menu scene, I don't know if you guys catched it, but we just had a big, big bump in our total time right here. So just by exiting to the menu, we went for 2,219 to 2,250. almost 50. And that is because there is a uh, desynchronization in between our save file and also the total playtime. And I was able to just find where it is. It is inside of the tower script. Whenever we do our get save string, last episode we went here and we added this line and it fixed a lot of things, but um, it didn't really handle everything we need. Like, like you can tell right now, we still have a problem with that. And the reason is just below. Like it's literally just the line below it. We do a last save is equal to time.time, .time, and we should have been doing instead last save is equal to time and 3k time dot time. So this one needs to be pretty much just change. Again, it's another single line that we have to change and then it fix everything. Because our project is made in such a way that it fixes stuff when we do simple change like that. Alright, so let's just say that we boost our speed and we stop at around here. So 2280, we go back and we should go back to a mod time scale of 1 and now we gain a second every second. We go back in and it's still the same timeline. So this now works and when we play say this ability and we just go ahead and wait a little bit in here, we should actually come back and it is around the same time. Yep, so guys, that is pretty much all we needed to fix today. We managed to fix this. What else did we fix? We also fixed the uh, the game breaking save file and we also fix our research over here so let's just go ahead and check out our uh, save file I mean our <laughs> loot costs as you can tell right here it is on 55 but that's because I'll ha I already um, have the research completed now if I go back and I just come here reset And we just wait a 5 minutes, so 300 seconds down there. And here we have it down here, so we have over 300 seconds. Now if we go back and we just make sure to toggle that um, update bit array, we go inside of the game. The cost of a single log is the proper cost, and also the same thing for the silk. And same thing probably goes for the rock as well. So guys, that's what we did today. Of course, a small episode and <laughs> really easy fix, but those were required fix, and we then... Uh, we should then be able to start working on the art phase starting tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys like. If you did, please leave me a like, it helps out a lot and I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, if you'd like to support this show or support me in general in whatever I'm trying to do with this channel, then you can pledge on Patreon, of course there's rewards, so if you want to go check that out. Links are all in the description below and other than that, please subscribe for more to all ladies and I will see you guys next time.